Hey everybody, it's Vortech here, and welcome to the 10th episode in our Rising World Let's Play. Today we are going to try and finish up the house we started in the last episode by uh, getting the second floor and the roof done, the nice pointy roof that Nismo Nizbo wanted me to make. And uh, I have a whole bunch of things to talk to you guys about while we work on that. So I'm going to dive right in and get started. Uh, one of the things Nismo asked me to do was make the, uh, the top story out of uh, stucco. And I was looking at images of stucco, because there's a few different kinds, like a few different ways it can look. And I, I think I've found, uh, under favorites here, a couple of things that kind of look like it. Uh, this is all under plaster. Uh, I have the option of doing this block here, or this one here. And I think I'm going to go with this one, uh, because it, I think it resembles stucco a little bit more. I mean, they both do, uh, but I think this is the one we're going to use for the top story. Uh, I don't know how the white blocks are going to look on top of the darker, you know, first floor layer, but we're just going to roll with it. So, I can't really make these any other color. I'm just going to craft a, a whole bunch here. Let's we'll start with, like, a stack. This is made with stone. So, uh, I went and mined a whole bunch of stone. I went and mined a whole bunch of, or cut a whole bunch of trees to get some wood. And uh, we may not have enough. I may have to go gathering some more, but I'll just deal with that off camera. You guys will... You know, you know how it goes around here. So, while I get uh, to building this, I put a ladder down. Someone left me an awesome tip. Or if you hold G while trying to place things, you get like a, a really nice, easy to use grid that everything can snap to. So, I appreciate that tip because that uh, really helped me out. The ladder is perfectly centered now. I can climb up here and uh, we're going to get started placing down some, some plaster uh, second floor blocks. And while I do that, I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the things I want to talk to you about. So... First things first, uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for more and more Rising World on the channel, which is awesome. Like, I'm so glad you guys are loving the series. I'm really glad uh, people are demanding more and, and really, you know, getting into it because that just goes to show that, you know, I'm doing something right here. You got, I obviously picked a game that everyone can uh, agree with and like and stuff, so I really appreciate it. And I, I'm, I definitely would love to grant that request. Hey, blocks. Let's, uh, there we go. I'd love to grant that request, but the thing I'm dealing with right now is... Ah, dang it. The thing I'm dealing with right now with uh, the channel and stuff is I, I just have like a lot of different projects and things to, to consider. <laughs> I'm just going to keep running up and down this thing. A lot of different projects to consider right now, and if I keep doing Rising World every single day or, you know, whatever, I'm going to burn myself out on it. And I just wanted to let you guys know that's just not what you want. Uh, we don't want to be making too many episodes of, like, the same thing because, for one, it makes me, uh, you know, get bored of the game faster. And it makes it makes you guys, like, see that I'm getting bored with the game because the quality of content goes down. Uh, by limiting the amount of episodes I make every week, I'm able to keep the quality really good. So that's all I wanted to say about it. I mean, it, it, too much of a good thing can, you know, can happen. And we, we don't want that. I'm trying to make this series... Uh, last as long as I can for you guys uh, because I feel like you deserve that and I really love doing it I would love to make it last a little bit longer than 10 episodes. I don't know about you But yeah, so I just wanted to address that real quick because I do love playing this game And I love making videos on it every week I think this week I'm gonna shoot for three rising world videos and once in a while I'll try that but my general goal for rising world is two episodes a week, so uh, that's all I wanted to say about that. The other big uh, news tip, if, if you guys can't get enough Rising World and you're like, oh, I really want to buy it, but I don't know if it's really that great yet. I'm still watching these videos trying to decide and uh, I want it to be, you know, I want to make that decision when I know it's, you know, a, a, at the right price. Well, uh, I've hooked up with the awesome folks over at Green Man Gaming. If you guys don't know who that is or what they are, they're basically a, uh, uh, they're kind of like Steam, but they sell games uh, differently like they have their own client similar to steam but you also can buy uh i don't want to make too many of these you can also buy games for steam like they give you the steam code or xbox or ps4 or whatever uh but this in particular that i'm telling you guys about is only for pc games if you want rising world is on green man gaming and you can get 20 percent off uh they've given me a code to share with you guys um, they're actually a new sponsor for my podcast, so I'm really, really excited to be working with them, but I don't want to bombard you guys with, like, adverts within my videos. 
because uh, I know how obnoxious that can get, especially if done wrong. So I just wanted to like throw that out there because this is a game that I know a lot of people have been enjoying, and I'd love to be able to provide more, uh, you know, Rising World content. But at the same time, if you're just here wondering if it's something you want to buy, I offer to you a 20% off discount code. So that is going to be here on the screen and also in the comments. It's everything noob 20OF. It was supposed to be 20% off, 20 off, but, you know, the other F didn't get in there. So, 20 of. Everything new, 20 of, and you'll get 20% off. It, you can only use it once per account, and uh, on certain select titles, I'm pretty sure Rising World is one of them. If it's not, please let me know in the comments, and I will redact <laughs> those statements. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, uh, I'm out of... I'm already running low on wood. That's crazy. Floors take up a lot, and uh, plaster is running low. So, let's get some more of that. This favorites tab is awesome. Thank you guys for pointing that out to me as well. Uh, let's do another 64 stack of this. Let's do a couple. There we go. And that should take care of our walls. So, yeah. I just wanted to give you guys those little tidbits of info there. Uh, I love that, you know, I talked to Green Man Gaming. They approached me and said, hey, we love your stuff. We'd like to, you know, see if we can work something out. Some, uh, You know, work with you on you know, promoting your channel and helping you, helping you out, get, you know, get your viewers some deals and some games. Because Green Man Gaming offers, like, awesome sales all the t freaking time. And I said, I'd love to do that, but, you know, let's, let's do something more. Let's do something more than just me saying Green Man Gaming in my videos. Uh, so, I thought that was really nice of them. They're really, really awesome. Uh, okay, here we go. Getting the walls placed up. Uh, I don't have any, uh... I don't have any idea where I'm going to put the windows. I'm just kind of going with it right now. And we just keep running out of plaster. I, I was going to, like, maybe take some of the design from the bottom floor, like these pillars, and maybe bring that up. But ultimately, uh, the the solid look up here might not be so bad, especially once we add windows and stuff. So I'm just trying to decide how high these walls are going to go. We still have a really tall roof we got to deal with as well uh, and stuff like that. I have my work cut out for me with this house, that's for sure. So I have the top floor walls all set up, and uh, I'm still getting the floors placed down. I need more trees for that. But just looking at this, I can definitely tell it needs a little more... It needs something. I mean, the, the top being like that is kind of uh, off-putting when you compare it to the bottom portion of the house. Having, like, you know, pillars and stuff like that, like the little wooden things in between the bricks... Uh, so it does need something for sure. I, I think after we get the whole thing done, I'll look into maybe some more trimmings. Uh, but for now, it is what it is. I'm, I'm thinking also of looking at the different sizes of windows before I finalize the windows on the sides of the house. Uh, I was thinking maybe a nice window where I have those there would look better since the bottom part doesn't have a window there. Uh, but we'll see. I didn't want it to like match the bottom completely in terms of window layout. So, we'll just have to see. Uh, I also considered putting another layer of bricks and wood where this plaster layer begins. Uh, I don't know, though. It, so, yeah, I'm having some design troubles with this. The bottom looks so nice, and the, the top is just kind of meh. Uh, definitely meh. There's no question about it. So, I'm going to head off and cut some more trees in the forest. And hopefully we can come back and get that roof going. I'm not even sure what, what design to use for the roof because we have so many different like options but also different kinds of blocks we're already using and should it be brick, should it be just wood? Maybe the wood trim planks can be what I make the roof out of. That might look nice. That might uh, even us out a little bit. We'll see. I'll mess around with it. But for now, time to cut some trees. Okay, so it is complete. At least the uh, the floors and walls are complete. Uh, I've finished building the floor and the wall for both stories. As you can see, I have some trouble getting down this ladder, so I popped a hole over here. And uh, as long as I can fall down it properly, uh, I have a way up and down the house. So, that's great. Uh, the bottom floor, like I said, looks great. The top floor looks kind of crappy. Uh, but I guess we'll just have to deal with that when the time comes. Um, I'm going to start the dreaded roof now. It's not going to be very easy because, for one, I need a whole bunch more wood. I've decided to use these planks as my roof block. And so I have to cut a whole bunch of trees. And I also need to get it uh, just, you know, laid out so I can easily place the blocks. 
and build a scaffolding up there maybe. And the roof is going to be pretty damn tall. So uh, this is going to be a chore and a half, but I don't want this to bleed over into a third episode on this house. So I think what I'm going to do is just uh, cut out even more while I go cut down some trees and lay out a, uh, a des like, not a design, but like an easy way to get up there so I can start quickly just banging out this roof. So that is what I'm going to go do. All right, so I'm finally back at the house after cutting down a bunch of trees, and I used most of the wood to make these ramp blocks out of the same material we did the trim out, out of. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to turn these around. I'm going to start down here uh, and bring this across, and this should give us an idea of how the roof is going to look, uh, like in terms of how it looks on the on the plaster. And I think that looks pretty nice. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to stick with that. There's a chance I might bring it out like that once the roof is complete. But I don't know. There's going to be like a lot of detail work I do on this house. And I don't know if that will be in the next episode. I don't know if that will be off camera. Uh, but we'll see. I also did find saplings and I planted some trees. So this is kind of like my, my uh, tree farm. But they take forever to grow. So <laughs> not doing us a whole lot of good. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see. I'm going to turn these around again. Like so. And this is the easy part. I need to get up on top of the roof, though, and actually place these uh, in a good, reasonable fashion. Uh, the building in this game is not as easy as in Minecraft. Collecting materials takes a lot longer. Um, it, this is how it, I can see it being like Worm Online, because it does take a lot longer to do things like that. But anyway, I did spend the rest of my stone on uh, these blocks here, and this is going to be like my, my way up on top of the roof. I think I'm going to start from back here, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to put one... Uh, there's windows here, so it's kind of difficult to uh, get around that. I'm going to put them like this. Oh, wow. Is that plaster? The stone looks exactly like the plaster I used. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's Let's cut this up. Maybe I just had extra plaster, and I'm using that instead of the stone I made, which is fine. Uh, we'll cut that up, and now we're up here, so we can uh, we can start placing more of these ramps. And the cool thing about this, uh, in Minecraft, I'm used to having to stand at a certain spot to get things to place the direction I want them. But with this game, you just can you can just rotate it. Uh, the problem is I have to make sure I'm out of the way before I hit the place button. But let's go like this. Uh, and come like, boop, there we go. So, in theory, this shouldn't take forever. <laughs> but you know how these things go. Uh, I'm going to come across and do the same thing over here, like so. Let's just, uh, dr oh wait, I only had one of those left. Wow! Oh, okay, I was going to say, I used all those ramps already? No, we're fine. Uh, oh, there's the stone, okay, cool. Uh, let's come across like this. But you can see, doing just the two sides, I already used 64. So you can just tell how much this is going to take in terms of resources. <laughs> I am in for a treat. I get to spend some quality time deforesting the forest. Uh, Alright, cool. So we have an idea of how the roof is going to look. I can stand on it, which is awesome. Uh, I won't fall off. So that means I can take... I'm going to use this plaster since we do have some more of it. And I'm just going to do that. And when I do that, that allows me to get another layer of wood to be placed across here. I don't know how I'm going to do the, uh, the the middle, like, you know where the roof meets, that space in the middle, when you look at the front of the house? I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. I really have no idea. Uh, oh, I think I figured out the secret. i got to, like, right-click a, a solid block to get it to place. So that's fair. Uh, let's finish off the rest of this, though, like that. There we go. Yep, definitely figured out the secret. This is looking pretty good. I, I mean, I'm, I'm on top of it right now, so maybe it doesn't look that great, but it seems like it's looking pretty good. I'm going to climb this side now, and we'll get the, uh, the other half of the roof. I'll do the same thing. You guys won't be missing much. So it is a new day in my rising world, world and uh, I have almost completed the pointy part of the roof. I think it looks pretty damn cool. Uh, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with the middle right there like this this gap i don't know if i'm going to use the plaster and bring it up i don't know maybe these bricks would look pretty nice and i think i think that's kind of what i'm leaning towards is these bricks in the middle of that uh and i can even just test how that looks i could just go craft some right now and see uh but yeah i think it's looking pretty cool i, I it's not as tall 
as I thought it would end up being, which is a good thing because I didn't want it to look too tall and stupid compared to the house it's sitting next to. Uh, so I think we lucked out. I think it's a really nice looking build. Uh, I'm supposed to have more stone. I went and mined a whole bunch, but maybe I, I used more than I thought. Uh, yep, apparently so. Apparently I don't have any stone. So I have a couple of these. <laughs> we can see how it contrasts a little bit. But other than that, I'm kind of SOL there. Uh, but yeah, I, I really like it. And uh, I didn't expect... I, I guess I just wasn't paying much attention. I didn't expect the the bottom of those to be jagged like that. I don't, I don't know why I didn't expect that, but I didn't. So, uh, you know, it's it's Minecrafty for sure. Uh, let's put these here. And I think... I think that'll look okay. Uh, well, that's probably, that'll remind me that's the kind of block I want to use. Uh, so getting back up here is going to be a little bit interesting uh, because I've just been using every block I can find to kind of climb back up. So we'll just do this. We'll keep it going. Why not? And we need to place the last uh, layer. So it looks like this will actually meet in the middle. I thought for sure I'd have to make like a flat piece. You know what I mean? Like... You'll, you'll see. So I think this will this will be fine, though. It'll actually point in the middle. Nice pointy roof. I'm going to come across like this. Boop. And one more ought to do it. In fact, I'll do it on this side since we already have a block placed down there. And, oh, I really hope I have enough. I did find some extra wood in my inventory and made uh, too many of these. Dang it. <laughs> Crap. Well, it's okay. I can quickly just uh, go cut down these trees and finish it up. So I'm up here on the roof. I'm ready to place down my last uh, layer of blocks. Uh, I don't think I have enough still, but I went and hit Q, and it dropped the block down there. And that's really interesting how it just kind of sits there. It's I haven't actually tried dropping blocks like that. That's kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, we'll come across like this. Uh, that's all I got. <laughs> but you get the idea. So nice pointy roof. I think that looks pretty damn awesome. Uh, it's, oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. It's really nice to be able to build, uh, in a game that doesn't have, like, you know, uh, uh, blocks for literally everything you do. Because I, I have options with this. I like these ramps. Uh, like, a, a roof of Minecraft is stairs and it's all blocky. But I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, we'll finish it off, probably off camera, like I said. So that gives you guys an opportunity to leave your suggestions in the comments for how you want the rest of it to look. Uh, if you think I should add some more trim to the plaster part, if you like the idea of the bricks being in that middle section for the roof, uh, please express those ideas in the comments. I want to thank you guys so much for supporting the series and watching all the videos and, and demanding I make more ri uh, Rising World. Uh, I will definitely do my best for you guys if you keep doing your best for me because you are awesome. I will see you next time, though. Look for two more of these videos this week uh, because I love you guys. <laughs> All right. Catch you next time. Uh, so it's a sailboat. We need seven hardwood and four cloth. In order to make cloth, we need three plant fibers. So we're going to need quite a few plant fibers here. We have three right now, which means one cloth. I need four.